How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for some Animal Crossing. New Leaf, gonna be checking out Cheville once again. Seeing what is going on today. Oh man, so, yeah, we've got, we got some stuff planned. Should be a lot of fun, let me kinda situate myself here. We're gonna be here for a while, just a little bit. A little bit, yeah, a little on the late side. Sorry about that, I had a lot I had to get ready today. Oh man, but I did get something really cool. I think I should show you guys. I talked about this a little bit ago, but it's here. Oh man, ah, the switch. I got it in, finally. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I've been trying to get one of these for an eternity, all right? Like, an eternity. I know a lot of you have. I feel your pain, okay? This is the first opportunity I've even really had to get one. So, yeah. If you're still waiting, your time will come. Don't worry, but I just felt super fortunate to finally be able to get one. And the one I wanted, too. I really wanted the one with the, uh, the gray Joy-Cons. So I haven't even opened it up yet. I don't know if I'm going to do an unboxing on this. Uh, it's not really set up for it. But, you know, I got it. And I think that'll be pretty nice. So, yeah. Anyway, that came literally three minutes before the stream started. So I need to make sure I picked it up because it might rain today. <laughs> I was thinking all day. Oh, my gosh. I really, really hope that it's not left out in the rain while I'm streaming or something like that. Because that would be terrible. That'd be terrible. Oh my gosh, I never sent the letters yesterday. I ran so late yesterday. It was only supposed to be like a little less than a two hour stream. It ended up being like two and a half hours and I only visited one town. Ugh. All right, so let's send these letters right now. We're just gonna have to deal with that. Oh man, I also need to change back into my clothes. There we go. There we go. I gotta start figuring out how to keep, like, town visits and having people over to, like, a much more concise time limit. Like, we gotta keep it to 25 minutes or less, I think, uh, in the future, because otherwise it, it ends up being so much streaming. I streamed for, like, four hours yesterday, and that, that wears you out pretty, pretty good, especially when I have to wake up early by comparison. <sighs> anyway, Megs Mareep. Just subscribed with Twitch Prime for the second month in a row. Thank you so much, Megs Mareep. That is awesome and some big service. Oh, man. Wait, this is what I want. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and drop off this mail over here. Uh, there we go. Ugh, I can't believe I forgot. Oh, well, it happens. It happens. Uh, let's see, Pokeguy946 saying, Hey, Maryland, I've been watching your vids ever since the start of your White 2 playthrough. I'm glad to see you're still making great content. Keep up the awesome work. Awesome! Thank you so much. Glad to hear you're still sticking around. Very cool. Uh, let's see. I need... Well, since I'm over here, let's see what's available in the shop. Guess we'll get this stuff out of the way now. Rather than later. Okay. Ooh, actually, we do need something to play some music, so I think we'll get this. I wonder if I can customize this. Also, I don't believe I have the blue dresser. Let's go ahead and grab that. I know I have the dentist chair. Don't want that again, but I think I'll take a pot rack. That'd look nice in a kitchen. Have that up somewhere. All right, what have we got for walls? I think I have this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. And then what do we got over here? Classic wall. Do we have a classic wall? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have that. Actually, I should double check. Uh, you know what? I'll double check in a moment. Let me check the citrus carpet. I know I have that. No, I have that. Uh, let's see. And a dotted rug. Do I have this? I think I do. I'll get it just in case. Just in case. All right, let's see. Rain Akariba saying, love the series, although I am a silent watcher. It's so relaxing. Well, that's awesome. Great to hear that you uh, 
took a moment just to say hi that you're tuning in. There's nothing wrong with just tuning in on the background, just chilling and relaxing. I'm guilty of doing that often with streams. Um, but I like to have stuff in the background, just kind of playing and hopefully you find it enjoyable. And shout out to anyone tuning in right now that, you know, maybe you don't ever chat. Maybe you just look forward to watching this every day. And, you know, it's, it's not really so much like you think you're engaged, but you are, even just by tuning in here and there. Yeah, I do have a classic wall. Like, that does mean so much. So, shout out to anyone doing that. Never feel like you have to be involved in the chat or the community. You're awesome. Just, uh, just kind of watching in the background. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I tend to do that myself, too. Very guilty of that. All right, so... I don't really need any of this stuff. I'm just gonna sell it back. Just gonna sell it back. You know, this is something that kind of freaks me out. Like, I don't like this when that happens. I was watching, like, a stream or two earlier because I was, like, waiting for something to finish up. I had a lot of work right before the stream. But, yeah, um, I was tuning in. And, like, every time I tune in, I like to find streams that maybe don't have, like, a bunch of people. But one thing I hate is when it announces that someone is joined or started watching. Like, I just want to get out of there then. <laughs> it's just like, no, I want to lurk in peace, okay? If I like the content and if I want to get involved, you know, maybe I'll say something. But as a general rule, I'd rather just, you know, tune in and not feel like, oh, Maryland's here, what? No way. It's like, no, let me just watch. <laughs> I haven't had that happen yet, but I know sometimes that can be a thing. It's like, why would you do that? Great advice for new, uh, new streamers. Don't do that. A lot of people don't like that. Muska Corn 52 saying, tuning in on my birthday today. I turned 19 today. Well, happy birthday to you. Or as it goes for me, gotta do the birthday song. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> there we go. That's the song. In pretty much its entirety, it just repeats endlessly from there. Uh, but it's a tradition. It is a tradition for sure. Uh, you know what? I guess I have a little bit of inventory room. Let's clear out the clothes section. Let's see what we got over here. It's Tutu! And, uh, ooh, an eight ball shirt. I'll pick this up. Eight ball corner pocket. Ah, and a tin shirt. <laughs> Wonderful. Sure, I'll get that. I think I have the others, though. Not really in urgent need of that. Okay, what have we got over here? Uh, I don't think I have this on this. I remember I was looking for this for a while back in Benchton. Is this a coconut hat? No, it's a kiwi hat. Darn it. <laughs> I thought it would be a coconut hat. And then this thing. I like this, actually. I don't really like it here, but we could make a whole army out of this. Give everyone... Oh, no! I don't have room! No! It's not good. Uh, yellow glasses, though. Tempting. Very tempting. So... I'm gonna say something. I know what it was. Okay, so... You know what? I've been noticing... I've been getting a lot of followers lately. That's really awesome. Thank you so much to everyone that has been tuning in and following. It means a whole bunch. Like, that's really cool. We broke 30,000 followers yesterday on Twitch. I've been on Twitch actually for a while. Like, it's not one of those overnight things. I know I tend to be rather inconsistent, or at least I used to be rather inconsistent with it. And it's not like we have 30,000 active followers. Remember, this is over several years. But I have noticed many per day. It's crazy. It's really awesome. Really awesome indeed. However, what I need to do a much better job at, you know what? I feel, I feel kind of bad. I was kind of thinking about it in hindsight and realizing, you know what? There may be new people that are tuning in and enjoying it. And that's great. But there might also be new people that show up and they're new here. They don't know our inside jokes or inside memes. 
or things like that. And, you know, or the schedule, for instance. I guess one thing that I always notice, and it, it's kind of one of those things that just, like, it grates on me. It's like, wow, really? It's the whole, I just got here and you ended. Now, okay, I guess my whole thought in the past, like, you know, previous me, trying to readjust my, my thinking pattern with this, but previous me would think, well, I got a schedule. It says in the description, gosh darn it, how dare you not have my schedule down? What the heck? But you know what I realized? I was thinking about it last night. I was definitely thinking about it. It's like, you know, hold on a second. Look at all these new followers every day. That's super cool. But they might not know the schedule just yet. You know, they just followed. Like, that's incredible. That's awesome. So... For anyone new here, relatively new, there is a schedule. I do have it. It's relatively consistent. We're going to mix things up Saturday, though, because I know something's happening Saturday. But you can always find the schedule in the link of the description of my channel, or my, like, info thing. There's a command, exclamation mark, schedule you can type in the chat that gives you a link. And also, in any of my videos on YouTube, it does show that as well. So... That's definitely helpful. It shows it in your local time zone, which is really helpful. And it tells you how long until the next stream. Super handy. Very good to know if you're a new uh, new follower or even a new subscriber on YouTube, let's say. But I definitely recommend that. But I have to be mindful of that, that you know what? People might be tuning in. They see, oh, someone's streaming Animal Crossing. Great, awesome, and well, then it's like, they don't know my schedule, and then I show up, and then, or when they show up, and then I leave. It's like, oh, that's not their fault. So I gotta do, I gotta do a better job at that. That's what I need to do. I need to think about this a lot more, and I think that's, uh, that's just something I want to be more mindful of. So, anyway, let's see what Olaf has to say here. The weather is kind of crummy, but it has an air of something special all the same, doesn't it, Werner? So what's going on? Uh, let's chat. Let's see. I'm obsessed with a specific fish, Werner. Er, could you catch me a sea bass? Could I not catch you a sea bass is the, the greater question. I'm counting on you, Werner. That's like the easiest thing in the universe to do. A sea bass. A sea bass. What? That's easy mode. Okay, that's fine. I'm not complaining about that. All right, from Mira and from Leonardo. Let's talk to Soleil first. Let's see if she needs a fish as well. All right, anyway, what is the latest, Soleil? It's not as convenient as using a computer or phone, but sending an old-fashioned letter is really fun, especially here in Cheville, because people will actually write you back. Uh, just write down a quick hello or a love note or whatever, and trusty Pete will make sure it's delivered. Yeah, I should do that. I did do that, actually. I sent the letters. What? Did you know that Bones is allergic to herbal tea? Ha, I just made that up. See, that's how rumors get started. One person makes something up out of the blue, and it sticks. Apparently, the truth doesn't matter. All that matters is entertainment value. On that note, Tarnation. <laughs> On that note, Tarnation. Uh, let's see. Someone from any town. I hate this. You gotta get out of that. We gotta send her something a little bit more fitting. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, off what you're saying. What's the so latest? I was literally thinking that before I took my shower. It's like, oh man, I gotta make this joke somehow, and now it's been taken from me. Ooh, thirsty. All right, anyway, I want to drop off some of this stuff for later. I'm getting quite a few perfect fruit, actually. So I should probably do something about that. Like, I have a lot. It's good to have, but I think I should probably start selling some of it off. Okay, next up, uh, I'll put this axe away too. Next up, I need to... Good. Yeah, put put some music in here, that's right. I needed it for something. All right, let's drop this thing. I no, I guess right over here would be fine. We need some music. Let's put Bubblegum KK in here. There we go. It's not exactly fitting, but I like it all right. 
We gotta get some better gyroids in here. But that's not what I want to do today. I have something very specific that I want to do. And I think that will be, uh... That'll be great. So... Uh, let's see. I need to get that sea bass. That much I know I need to do. I also should check on my roses down down on the cliff. We got any progress made. I got my first blue roses ever yesterday. And not again today. <laughs> Darn it, that was a waste of fertilizer. Oh, that was so beautiful though. All right, anyway. I know that these are capable of making blue roses and that's ultimately what's important. Because sometimes it can take a while and you don't even know if you have hybrid reds. All right, so, sea bass. Let's get this sea bass. I never thought I would actually be wanting to find a sea bass, but sure enough, I do. I need to find this thing. Uh, go away. Oh, you, you go away too, go, shoot, shoot, get out of here. All right, I need a big, big sea bass, come on. Show your face. Uh, let's see, Aprez asking, is it a guaranteed hybrid red rose if it was bred from an orange rose with a white rose? No, in fact, it's guaranteed not to be hybrid red. The only way to get hybrid reds, you have to breed orange and purple together. You'll only get hybrids from this specific combination. Otherwise, it's just a normal red rose, which will not count. Oh my gosh, where is a sea bass? <laughs> what? What? Is that it? No, that wasn't it. That was too small, right? Yeah, way too small. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see. Flygon Freak saying, wait, is Dang PG-13? No. Dang, D-A-N-G, is not. It's a euphemism, meaning it's something used in place of a stronger word, <laughs> which realistically isn't like that, that offensive of a word. I personally don't say that, but I do use dang and darn in its stead. All right, let's see. I can't find a sea bass. This is so sad. Like, what? They just, they evaporated in the water. They, what? Like, why would I keep a sea bass around too? Oh my gosh. The world we live in. What happened? Wait, there's all these little small fries here. Olaf just will never stop trolling me. It's just like humiliating. Anyway, I have. Oh, pff, darn it, you're not even a sea bass. Alright, let's go grab the. Really? Come on, come on. I gotta get my revenge for yesterday. Oh, wow, I'm dumb. <laughs> All right, anyway. Got a little overexcited. Actually, I just, I didn't need it. That's what it is. I did not need that shark. It was a, uh, a strategic, strategic operation there too. Scare that shark away. What the heck? Why can I not find sea bass? This is just like bizarre. I can't even scare that fish. It's too far away. Like, do they not show up anymore? Is it like, are they just out of season or something? Well, you know what? Skip it. We might just have to do this later. Go get him a black bass instead. You won't be able to tell the difference. He said he wanted a bass. Oh! Oh! You said sea bass! I thought just any bass. 
you wanted a C. I thought you just wanted a C of bass, not really a C bass. Yeah, my bad. Sorry, Olaf. How the heck long have I been looking for a sea bass? What? Okay, there we go. That looks like a sea bass. Finally! Don't troll me and be like a Napoleon fish or something else. Oh my gosh! I'm just the worst. I'm all jittery this morning. Okay, well, we have to start over from scratch. It's just one of those days. Like, you have to be on point. And my mind is, like, all over the place right now. All over the place! Art of 23, get out. Get out before I ban you. <laughs> You're saying, did you know that Magna might have a 6% chance of holding a sea bass in this game? <laughs> get out! Hold on. Alright, I, I got a, a solution. Uh huh. There we go. Banned. Gone. Adios. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Not really. But yeah, uh. <laughs> Can't. Never bring up the metal coat in front of me. <laughs> the metal coat! Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> Where is this thing? Like, what? Okay, there we go. Revenge. Okay, I'm just gonna close my darn eyes. And I'm just gonna wait until it takes the bait, and then that's it. That's all I need. Okay, there we go. Sea bass! Finally! Finally! Okay, there. Jeez. Oh, it's Katie! Hey, we got a lost kitten over here. I should probably do the right thing and take her to another town. Yeah, I should do that. Um, I'll do that in a moment. So, I, I don't think I'm gonna do any, like, full tours or anything, but what I might do is just drop her off, say hi, say thanks, and then go. Uh, let's see. I brought you your gosh darn sea bass, you joker. I'm never doing this again. <laughs> That's great, you loser. Here's a little something to show my appreciation, you loser. A shirt. Hot blue tea. I won't forget your favor as long as you don't forget this present. All right, anyway, let's go on to uh, talk to the rest of the villagers around town. Let's see what Goldie's up to. Hmm. Goldie! You need some music in here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, I wonder how it would look if I got something to replace my old homework set. You mean the one I gave you? Do you think you could find something around the same size for me, Warder? Oh, perfect, actually. I have a CD player. And she needs music. I gotta go give her my CD player. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, that'll work out perfectly, actually. Oh no, I hear the sound of fleas. One must have some fleas. Oh well, that's not a problem. Okay, oh, I could give her a pizza. <laughs> that would be nice, but I'm not going to. Nope, I'm not. Alright, let's grab this. It's basic, but again, it'll at least work, which is what we really want right about now. 
just needs some music. Like, she'd have an okay home if she just had some music, but seriously, that was the homework that I gave her. I guess she's done with her homework. <laughs> cool friend saying, I feel so bad for Olaf. Imagine giving somebody a gift and they just drop it right in front of you. I know, right? He said not to forget it, so what do I do? I forget it. You know what? I'm gonna take the fleas off him just because it gives me a chance to whack him with a net, which I think is great. <laughs> what? You found fleas on me? Oh man, I'm so embarrassed right now. Don't even look at me. Hey, thanks, though, Warder. If you ever find yourself with fleas, I'll gladly be your exterminator. Can I just take that last line? Let's just cut out the rest of it all and just say, I'll gladly be your exterminator. And there, problem solved. Okay, let's take the shirt. Uh... Probably has fleas on it, though. It's okay. All right, anyway, <laughs> let's go deliver this CD player to Goldie. Soul Eater Evans asking, any hopes and dreams for the next Animal Crossing game? I really don't know. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I think that would be really a lot of fun. Especially now that I have a switch. But I could give her the flea, but nah, I don't want to do that. She has enough fleas. All right. Yes, a CD player. Hee <laughs> hee, it looks great. Anyone can trust you, Warder. Oh, in exchange, let me give you the homework set I was using. The homework set I gave you! Oh well, at least she has music now, and I have my homework set again. Uh, would you be interested in buying a minimalist sofa? Sure, I'll buy it. Why not? Always need another sofa. You ever go over to a friend's house and they're like, Yo, you wanna buy my sofa? <laughs> I mean, you know, that's how it is. In the town of Cheville. All right, anyway. Nibs08 saying, Hey, Marilyn, you are welcome to drop Katie in my town. You can also yell at Ruby if she's around about giving me a kitchen scale for my golden stag beetle. Oh, man. Yeah, that's right. I should probably take care of Katie. I'll do that in a little bit. Adios, bug. Um, I feel like fossil hunting today. I don't really feel like it. I want to... I think that's a bug I need. I think that's just a Miyama stag, right? I'm gonna pick it up just in case. Saw a stag. I saw it. Uh, I'll hold on to it just in case someone wants it for some reason. There's Katie. That's right. Gotta take care of her. But first, oh, someone's camping. Let's take a look over here. See who's camping. Oh, you're Pearl, I think? Pearl! Hey there, I'm Pearl. I'm just in Cheville camping for a little while. It's a great place you got here. I've actually been thinking about moving here permanently. I don't think you can do that right now. Uh, hey you, feel like playing a little game? Let's play for my cream sofa. Ooh, all right. I'll, I'll play. Okay, find the queen. Let's do it. All right, how does this work? It's been a while. Uh, all right. Okay, the game is played with three cards. There's a jack, a queen, and a king. I'll shuffle the cards, and then you pick one. If you pick the queen, you win. It's as simple as that. Pick the queen three times in a row, and the queen sofa is yours. Oh, man. All right, that's fine. Let's go with the middle card. Uh-oh. Right card? All right, so I did get it. Left card. Oh, yeah, two queens. That's still pretty pricey, but oh well. Sounds pretty tasty. Team sofa. Alright, anyway, adios. Uh, let's see. I did see Palkia Plays asking, I know this is a random question, but have you ever played the original Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games? I have. I liked them alright, although in hindsight, I think I like a lot of the others better. But I've had some good moments. All right, next up, Cesar. You know, you're talking to me? 
Good for you, finding your place in my place, Capiche. So you need something. All right, want to chat? Today I thought I'd try something a little different and wear some sporty clothes, but the tag is itching so bad I can hardly stand it anymore. I'm freaking out, Capiche. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, all right, let's talk. Whoa, 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 what's this? You're into the fine art of the cream sofa, too? <laughs> my cream sofa! I've been on the hunt for one so long, I can't believe I'm seeing this. It's kind of my secret passion. I'd love to just give you a ton of cash for your stash, but I'm sure I don't have enough. Hey, but maybe you could take my fall leaf shirt in a trade, capiche? Sure. I didn't even get a chance to see what it looked like. Oh, well, I didn't really need it, and I'm sure he'd rather have it anyway. And it's definitely good to have him would be a favor. There are a ton of different sports in the world, right? For example, when it comes to dodgeball, would you rather participate or just watch? Which do you prefer? I'd rather just watch, thank you. Uh, oh, you said it. You're right on the money there. Dodgeball is pretty hard. It is a pretty hard activity if you want to do it right. I prefer to have... A tall glass of cream soda in one hand and a TV clicker in the other. <laughs> I'll just cheer on the competitors from the comfort of my own home. All right, well, good for you, pal. Okay, so... Uh, let's see. I need to check turnip prices. They were, like, 48 this morning. There's a little on the, um... Ooh, silver. A little bit on the... Ooh, I need some coffee, too. Let's go ahead and do that. Grab some coffee. Oh, and the badge guy's here. All right. Let's see. How do I want my cup? How much milk? So, I don't have any sugar in my milk, but you know what? We'll go with uh, just a bit of milk. A little bit of milk and no sugar, and that's just the way Warder likes it. Ah, nice cup of joe. Try this well-seasoned brew. How oh, quaint. Ah, just a touch of the mild side. I could drink gallons of this. Ooh, thank you. You're welcome. All right, anyway. Let's see what the turnips are going for right now. That's what I need to know. Oh, man. So pumped. A switch. It's got that in today. So beautiful. See it again. Oh, my precious. Ooh. I'm really excited. Oh, man, I've been looking for one for ages. Okay, anyway. Let's see what the turnip prices are. 44! So they are on the decline again. That's kind of what I want to see. Because it was 48 earlier. But it's pretty low. I just hope I finally get a large spike. Oh, my fish. Fish on a board! Fish on a board! That's a great new insult. Holy fish on a board! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's see. Uh, Soul Eater Evan's asking, what games do I have for Switch? I have zero games right now. Like, I just bought it. I have uh, Zelda on the way. That gets in tomorrow. I cry every time. Oh, man. I mean, I've played it on Wii U, so it's not quite as urgent. But still, it'd be nice to have it. Oh, a bicycle. That's appropriate. Ah! I fell! <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> okay, I don't really want a bike. Nope. Not me. Not today. Don't want that. Alright, Sylvia home. She is not. Oh, there's Katie again. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick drop off of Katie. I think I should just get that out of the way. I'm just gonna visit whoever has their gate open. It's not gonna be a full visit. It's not gonna count against any of your visits. But I just need to drop her off somewhere. So I'm not gonna stick around. I'm not gonna say hi. I'm not gonna pick up any gifts or anything. I'm just gonna drop off a little cat and then be on my way. Oh, but really quick beforehand, this Saturday is the big bug off. 
And last, it's almost here. Catch the rarest bugs and go for the gold trophy. So, Saturday I will have two streams. There will be a uh, afternoon stream before the gold Nuzlocke, and there will be a um, evening stream as per usual. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, let's see who is around. It's gonna drop and go. Not gonna do anything major. It's gonna say hi and drop it off. That's fine. All right, let's see. Drop off the package. Use the cargo, the precious cargo right now. All right, let's see who is around. Get a little bit of water. Ah. All right, who do we have? Do, do, do. All right, I think we're gonna go to... Let's go to Hydrant. I haven't been there yet. It's not gonna be a big tour or anything, but I figured that'd be nice. All right, here we go. Just dropping off really fast. It's gonna be a, a long tour by any means. Okay, come on, Katie. I keep winding up over here. This is like the third or fourth time she's been here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the XCOM 87654321 saying Katie is just a package, no longer a kitty. <laughs> right, you know. Don't drop your ticket. Yay! She didn't drop her ticket. Thank goodness. She's done that a few times for me. Nice to finally see that she's not doing that. S starting to get wiser. Ta-da! In the lovely town of Hydrant. All right, you're welcome, Katie. Let's see, Dolly is 24 asking, Devin, you're going to the Burning Shadows pre-release. I do plan on it. I do typically like pre-releases, although I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to see. Probably. Probably. Uh, Alert Chimera, 114 asking, what is my turnip pattern if this morning was about 96 and right now it's about 125? More than likely, uh, more than likely, it is... Let's say thanks here. Oh, I have to talk to, to you really fast. Patina. Um, it's probably a roller coaster. Probably. All right, one more try. <laughs> Reading on the beach. All right, we'll have fun with that. All right, anyway, thanks for uh, letting me drop off Katie in your town. That ought to be nice. Travels all around, which is kind of cool. All right, let's go. Uh, Dolly is 24 saying, because I'm going to get back into TCG with this new set. Oh man, crossing back into the land of TCG. Uh, well, hopefully it works out all right for you. Kind of all right. I'm still on the fence with it, but we shall see. But needless to say, it'll be good to see you there if you go. All right, let's see. What else do I need to do? I know what I need to do. We gotta do some games, guys. So, Yesterday, I think it was, or maybe the day before. I don't remember when it was, but, like, Leonardo, he keeps playing with our heart. And that is just unacceptable behavior. We have to teach him a lesson. And I think the way to do that, we have to have our own little sports competition. So, if you don't remember, last time I had... A total of five different competitors. Now, these competitors... Oh, hi, Mira. What's up? Let's talk to Mira first. Uh, let's see. What is going on? 
Oh yeah, any chance you're going to see Cesar soon? If so, can you take him something? Sure, let's do that. Um, okay. So, these competitors are going to compete against each other in the Desert Island Escape, or whatever it's called. I don't remember the actual name, but yeah. What the heck? Oh, it's a bug, isn't it? Yep. Ah! <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, they are going to compete against each other in order to determine who will be kicking Leonardo out. However, Desert Island Escape, or whatever the game's called, I got it. What is it, guys? I always forget. I, I feel like I always get it wrong. It's the island one. That much I know. Um, you need to bring three, three characters with you in order to escape. So each of them have some, uh, some people that will help them out. So I think that'll be good. All right, here we go. Okay, it is Desert Island Escape. Oh, Fly Guy Freak saying it's Die, D-I-E, Desert Island Escape. That's a good way to remember it. Oh, another shirt. Oh, my, you are here, T. Oh, don't put it on. Please don't put it on. <laughs> thanks for taking the time to make sure that got delivered. You can take this as a token of my thanks. Please don't put it on. It's a red tie-dye tank. If you don't like my gift, just act like I gave you pajamas instead. Okay, thank goodness. If he's walking around in a you are here shirt, you already had to uh, tell him you gotta cover up. Wear some pants or something. Anyway, say, Olaf and Tutu get along awful well, don't you think? Now, I'm not implying they're all lovey dovey or anything. Oh my gosh, no! I mean, just the looking at them, you can appreciate true friendship between guys and gals. I love to have that kind of close friendship with somebody. Oops, forget I said something. Or, er, forget I said anything. You heard nothing. Oh, man. <laughs> Cesar, you're funny. Like, I was really kind of thinking, I don't know about him. Seems kind of derpy. Kind of, you know, not really someone I would normally have if I had the opportunity to just pick. But he's been really funny. I actually like him as a character in Cheville. All right. Hey, what's up, pal? All right. Uh, oh, hey, you should come over to my house for a visit. I'm really into cleaning lately. All right. Uh, sure. Do I have to do it later? Oh, my gosh. Half past, half past four. Okay, so 4.30 it is. We'll go over to Sylvia's house. Oh, I got letters. That's right. I should probably check these out since I'm right at retail. All right. From Mira. Thanks, Warder. It was rad of you to have me over. It's too bad I couldn't see every room. I showed you every room, but there's always next time. Take this as my thanks, and there's more where that came from. All right. What did you send me? A hammock. Oh, great. To replace the other one I had. All right. Let's get rid of that. And then from Leonardo. Yo, Warder, thanks for coming over to my house. Sorry it reeked of sweaty sneakers. I'll buy some potpourri before your next visit. Does this help make up for it? No. Garden gnome. What? Why would you send me a garden gnome? It's just so bizarre. Okay. Fine. A garden gnome. All things. Oh, well, it's fine. I wonder if I can customize the garden gnome, though. That'd be really fun to give it to someone. I don't know who, but I can see someone with that thing. All right, let's see. Whoa, a lot of things. Garden gnome, hammock, and the minimalist sofa. All right, let's change the garden gnome. Change my gnome color! What do you suggest? Purple hat, blue hat, orange hat, yellow hat. Dark red hat or green hat. Uh, let's go with a purple hat. Sounds pretty rad. Okay, customize this bad boy. I think I just have to sell this stuff off. <laughs> it looks so funny looking. Oh, I don't need to talk to you. Why am I doing that? All right, Reese. Here. Take some of this junk I've been accumulating. I don't need a hammock. I don't need the sofa. I don't need a flea. I don't really need the homework set anymore. Red tie-dye tank. Nah. Nah. Uh, hold on to the nugget, though. At some point, I really want to start customizing things. 
put the gems. Olaf, get out. Get out! Get out! Uh, oh, that's a good point. Beautiful Days 4 saying, Yesterday I finally learned why so many people fill up their retail with flowers or gems priced at 99,000 bells. They just don't want their villagers to sell their furniture. That's actually rather clever in thinking about it. I hadn't really seen that before, but now that you mentioned it, that actually makes a lot of sense. All right, I delivered the thing. Are you happy now? Oh, uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> okay, anyway. I think it's time for our competitors to compete. We'll see what we can get done for uh, for this adventure. But we got a little bit of time before 4.30. All right. I guess that's over in this room, isn't it? We don't have music. A bummer. Okay, anyway, it is time for the competition to begin. So, here are our five competitors that will be competing for competitor things. We have Rory, we have Peck, we have Jay, we have Cody, and we have Genji. Now, all five of these characters, I do have the cards for, and, um... Actually, I found I only had the Japanese version of Jay. <laughs> Whoops, but it still works, so that's fine. So yeah, these five will each have two accomplices that they'll need to take along with them on the island. We're going to be basing it on score. So whoever has the highest score will end up being the winner. So we got to hope that they'll make it together. Or that they'll make it. I don't know. I'd be fine with any of these villagers. They're all jocks, okay? Because Leonardo, this isn't like a Cheville Idol thing. Where, you know, we can... It's just from the packs that we've opened. These were from my personal collection. Um, so, yeah. Um, I also took cards from there as well. So this is not Cheville Idol. And that's why it's only going to be jocks replacing Leonardo to keep things fair. All right, so... I think first we're going to have, let's see, how about Jay? Okay, so Jay will be the first competitor over here. Let's go ahead and boot this thing up. Let's get ready to die. All right, now, the question is, who will Jay bring along with him? So each of them have a really interesting theme for their characters. Or at least, I don't know, like, I tried to do the best I could with what I had, but I really like Jay's theme, okay? So he definitely has a, uh, a team. It's a very well thought out team. Um, very well thought out indeed. Okay, so we have to go to one of these. Now, I want to do it all on the same course, okay? Just to keep it consistent. Although I guess I could have them try out different courses, but I don't feel like that'd be fair. Um, Alright, so... Let's go to course number five. Alright, does that sound good? I don't really know what it's all about. Actually, maybe we should do four. Four looks good. Let's do number four. Alright, so... We're going to use a new group of characters here. Alright, so... Entry number one is, of course, the team leader himself, Jay. Now, joining Jay on Team JJ, that's J-A-Y-J, -J. joining Jay on Team JJ is... Come on. Oh, I think it... Yeah, there we go. Jacques! And... Number three on Team JJ is... Jitters! That's right. It's time for Team JJ and his flock of birds to hopefully fly through the rest of the competition. It looks like they all have quite similar stats, but maybe, just maybe, that'll work out well for them. All right, let's go ahead and start the game and see what Team JJ will have. 
Oh man. All right, so we've got Jay, Jacques, and Jitters. So let's see, we gotta find the materials for the raft, gather food, do the rest. Will these three be able to outperform everyone else? All right, that is the question. So, Jay's turn. Let's see. Uh, power flight, able to fr fly freely on magnificent wings, even over mountains. But precision suffers a bit, so no landing on adjacent spaces. Oh, that's interesting now. All right, so they have the ability to fly anywhere. Um, so, probably take advantage of that. Now, that might serve them well here. We'll have to see. All right, so we found a rock. That could help. A stone. And can't fly to an adjacent space. Has to fly further on. So, let's... Looks like he's flying over here, finding some flowers, it looks like. Or, no, some medicine. All right, good health is important. So that might just help out later on. Okay, so Jacques' turn. Let's see. Again, looks like it cannot move adjacent. That'll make things very interesting from a strategic perspective. Okay, so Jacques is going to try the, uh, over here. Let's see if he can find anything good. Okay, about lookouts. Lookouts offer great views. From the top of a lookout, you can see more of what's there. All right, so that's handy. Let's take a look at what's around here. There's a lot of stuff down here, and it looks like their flight ability will give them the ability to traverse a lot of these things, which everyone else might run into an issue with. Okay, so... Oh no! It appears that Jacques has fallen into a hole. But it looks like the favor is in his side to get out of the hole. All right, he's out of there. He's surviving. In fact, Jacques is so fancy he wears two hats. <laughs> I just noticed that. Quite remarkable. Anyway, it's Jitters' turn. Let's see where Jitters is going to fly on off to. It looks like quite the solid team here. So, Jitters is taking a look at the map and the surroundings. Looks like Jitters is going to be flying on over towards the middle. Okay, what is next for Jitters? Doesn't look like there's that much left, but he is kind of planning himself for the next uh, position. So, gotta pitch a tent somewhere. There's all sorts of items nearby. So, it has to be somewhere that they have visited before. Now, I think Jitters would probably have the most ideal spot. It's a nice centralized location. So, Jitters will be uh, setting up shop right there. All right, let's see. What should we do now? So, it's time for them to check items. I don't think they have anything to make tools with. Yeah, nothing yet. Time Spy subscribed for two months in a row with Twitch Prime saying, I did the resub a couple of days ago, but finally got around to sharing. Can't wait for more content from one of my favorite streamers. Well, thank you so much. That is awesome. And Game Master TZ saying, Maryland, so you're the Maryland that did the Pokemon Diamond Adventures years ago. Those are my favorite walkthrough videos for those games as a kid. Well, that's awesome. Very awesome. You're definitely going to want to check back Thursday because we've actually been restreaming the old episodes in their original form. And it's been great because everyone can watch them and chat along and all that fun stuff. So definitely check that out if you're nostalgic for... Uh, for Maryland's Pokemon Diamond Adventures, because people have been having a lot of fun with that. All right, anyway, the Bird Squad has made it through the first day. They've eaten up, but they are in need of food. Otherwise, there will be some consequences. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Game Master TZ saying, your voice sounds different from when you did them. I know, it's, well, I'm 10 years older, <laughs> and I have, like, a much better microphone and more confidence. So, Jay is going to search the bushes over here. Again, this team is in need of some food. So hopefully they'll find something. Oh man, it's a big bug! It's a centipede. Well, you know what? It looks like the odds are stacked against Jay, but Jay is rather tough. He's going to try to fight this bug. See how that'll go. And it looks like Jay will survive! Scaring the bug away. And succeeding. So that's definitely good. Gives them some points and lets them continue searching. Okay, now let's see where Jacques decides to go. All right, Jacques is going to head on over 
to the butterfly area over here. Still looking for some materials to build a bush. And for that matter, some food. This team's gonna run into an issue if they can't find food soon. Oh no, it looks like Jacques has reversed the outcome of this. Not sure if that was cheating or not, but it was uh, the outcome of that. So wonderful. All right, Jacques who's now checking out this tree over here. Hopefully he will find some, uh-oh, bees. But you know what, this is bad news because Jacques does not have a net. Uh, he could take a gamble and shoo them away or he could leave quietly. Well, it looks like Jacques is going to make an attempt for it. Shoo those bees away. Hopefully it works out all right. And it looks like perhaps a mediocre outcome here. But you know what? It is still better than nothing. Hmm, perhaps Jacques' gamble did not pay off very well. Okay, next up is Jitters. All right, so Jitters needs to start doing some searching around here. So Jitters is gonna check out this tree over here. Hopefully, oh, that's good news. It appears that Jitters has found bananas. Okay, so how many bananas will Jitters be getting? Oh, that's a very solid play. Jitters has found three bananas. That should be enough to get them through a little bit more. They're going to need more rations though for the whole team. All right, so Jitters is going to make himself at home over here. Okay, so it is time to find a location to set up shop. So I think they're gonna set it down where Jay is right now. That'll give them an advantage to search the rest of the island over there. They're still in need of some material and they are in need of some food. They are running a little low on food. Only I believe two days rations left. But their ability of flight does give them excellent traversal of the map. All right, unfortunately they do only have one day of food, so that's rather bad. They need to search for some food, otherwise things are going to go south for them. All right, so what has Jay found? Jay's found himself in a hole! That's not very good luck! But it does look like the odds are in Jay's favor to get out of the hole. And Jay has no trouble escaping from the hole whatsoever. All right, now, it appears that Jay is flying further westbound in hopes of finding something. Oh, wonderful, some peaches. That is just what Jay and the rest of his team need. Okay, let's go ahead and shake the tree. Try to get as many fruit as possible. Oh, it's a nice haul of four fruit. From a tree that only appeared to have three. That is very fortunate. So they will survive an extra day. All right, next up we have Jacques. Now, where will Jacques find himself? Oh no, that might not have been where Jacques wanted to go, but it'll work out. Again, covering the uh, the southern portion of this island. Oh, and Jacques has found some pears. It looks like their whole issue with uh, finding food is starting to work out in their favor. So three pears are on this tree. Definitely turning things around for the hungry birds here, Team JJ. All right, and now we have Jitters. So Jitters needs to find them something. Hopefully he'll be able to find something that can be used to craft or something that can be used to build the raft. All right, so it's a centipede. Jitters feeling a little jittery about this, but again, it's a, a fight that might work out. Uh-oh. No, this is bad. It appears that Jitters has been defeated by the centipede and has to go back rather wounded. Okay, so that is not exactly the most the most fortunate news for them. It appears that Jay is going to be camping, setting up the tent over where he's at. All right, when team members get hurt, they can't move the next day. However, if you have some medicine, you can heal them. So it'd probably be a good opportunity to use that medicine on Jitters. So they were fortunate enough to find that medicine earlier. 
There we go. All right, Jinners is back in the game. However, their materials are lacking and their food is starting to dwindle. So it might be a little dangerous for them to move forward here. They're also running out of time to find the necessary building materials. They might just be able to, uh, they might not be able to proceed any further. Four days remain and they need to find four items. So let's get going. Let's see. It appears that Jay is heading over towards the beach, hopefully finding something of use. Bananas. Well, that will help their food situation. Depending on how many bananas Jay can claim from this tree. It appears that Jay has only claimed one banana. But one banana is still better than no bananas. However, they still need one more piece of fruit in order to have enough to make it past a further day. Oh, look at that! It looks like Jay has indeed found a piece of cloth that could be used to make a tool of some sort. All right, now it's up to Jacques. Let's see where Jacques is going to go. It appears he's going northbound now that most of the southern shore has been cleared. And it appears it's a centipede again. There are centipedes all over here. The odds are not in his favor, but he does like to gamble this, Jacques. So he's going to fight the centipede, and it appears that he is not successful in this. Oh no, that's bad news for Jacques. So he is sent back, and he is out of movement. Now it's up to Jitters. Now this does pose a problem for Jitters, because there's no way to get past that centipede, and there's nothing else around, for that matter. So... If Jitters wants to make a play, he's going to have to fight that centipede or end up wasting precious time. He might have to fight the centipede in order for his team to survive. So, he's going to go for it. And let's see if Jitters will have what it takes to overcome the centipede. The odds are not very much in his favor, but it's not outside the realm of possibility. Oh no, just barely missing it. This is bad news for Team JJJ. Well, Team JJ, actually. A lot of you have wondered why it's not Team JJJ. That's because it's J. He's the leader of the team. It's all about him. So they are going to set up the tent over by the bushes where J is at to get past the centipede next turn. However, this does pose a problem because two of Team JJ is out of commission right now. So do they have anything to make tools with? They do not. This is bad news. So they are now out of food. Two of their members are wounded. It is not looking good. Uh-oh. That's right, there's no more food. They only need one more piece of food, however, in order to make it through tomorrow. Will they be able to make it? It is all up to Jay right now because everyone else is recovering. So it's gotta happen now or never. Otherwise, this team is out. So, it's gonna be up for searching this tree. And that is not good news. Although they do need this stick for something, it is not what they need to get through the day. This is bad news. Jacques needs to rest. And, on top of that, Jitters needs to rest as well. This is very bad. Your food supplies ran out! No! It appears that Team JJ was not able to escape from the island. Oh no. All right, so they are eliminated from the competition. They do not even get to proceed any further than that. That's it for them. Well, it was a valiant attempt, Team JJ. So we have one more team up right now. We're going to go in, try to go through this island once again. All right, so we're going to make a new group here. Okay, next up, we have... Oh, hey, 500 bits from Jedi Aster. Thank you so much for the bits. That is some big service. Also, hopefully you guys have been enjoying this so far. Um, it's been uh, it's been quite enjoyable. Uh, I like this game. It's actually really fun. It's a good use for the amiibo cards. Okay, so next up, we're going to have... Uh, let's see. I think we're gonna go with... You know what? Let's go with the other birds. We'll have the dueling birds here. So, we are going to be going with Hex Team. 
That is right. Where is Peck? He is this one. All right, we're going with Peck's team here. Another team of birds. So, let's get this thing going. There is Peck. Again, with a similar ability of flight, probably going to see a lot of the same strategies out of his crew. However, he does have a little bit of variance on his side. So we'll have to see here. Looks like Sparrow again. And lastly, well, not Sparrow again, but again, with flight is what I mean to say. And then last on Team Peck. We need a name for this team, by the way. I have not yet decided on one. So if you have any good ideas. But we have Midge also joining in the fray for the birds. So our team for this round is Peck, Sparrow, and Midge. So let's see how this crew fares against the island that their fellow birds were not able to make it through. All right, let's see. All right, so it is Peck's turn. He's got to make use of his flight abilities. So I think Peck this time is going to fly on over to the lookout just to kind of scout things in the, uh, oh my gosh, the Jack Sparrows. <laughs> that could be kind of funny. Cosmic Hunter 1. Uh, Beautiful Day is for with Team Lifeless Stare. Oh my. All right, so... After using that lookout spot, it appears that Peck is going on over and finding a centipede in the tree. So the odds are not in his favor, but you know what? Peck is feeling rather peckish here and is going to run away from the centipede. Now it looks like the odds are in his favor. And it appears that Peck has made a clean getaway. Not quite as bold and brash as his previous team. However, that does cost him his movement point. But it does at least reveal where a centipede is. So, it looks like Sparrow has indeed found a rock, a stone here, so maybe that can be used in some crafting. And that doesn't really give him many other options to move forward to, so he is going to move over to this patch of flowers. Hopefully find something that will help. What has he found over here? Wonderful, he's found some pears! That is very good news, or should I say parry good news. So how many pears will Sparrow claim from this tree? Oh, he has claimed a full four pears. That is wonderful. So food should hopefully not be a problem for this crew of birds. Okay, next up, it is up to Midge. Let's see where she's gonna head on over. Looks like she's covering the northern side and is heading over to a tree. Oh! It appears that Midge has found the stick. That could be very useful because that is something that the previous crew did not find earlier. So the question is, where will they set up the tent for right now? It appears that Sparrow has the most uh, advantageous spot right now. All right, so everyone is kind of taking a look at what they have here. So they have enough equipment or enough uh, resources to make a tool. Now that could help them down the line. Okay, so they can make either a slingshot or a shovel. That is a difficult decision. Slingshot could help, a shovel could also help. Uh, it appears that they are going to go with a slingshot. All right, so they will make the slingshot. That should give them a little bit of extra offense against I believe centipedes. And that should hopefully help as well, because they do have a centipede they're eventually going to need to get through. Okay, so it appears that the team has indeed made it through. First day. Not that that was really much of a threat, but again, no major issues. So now armed with a slingshot, they should be able to fight any centipedes that they find a little bit more efficiently. So, oh, this is great news. It appears that Peck has just found one of the logs necessary to get off the island. That is huge. Now, will Peck keep this winning streak up? Okay, let's see. Oh, this is fantastic news for Peck. Peck has found some peaches on this tree. That should definitely be enough to get them an extra day's worth of rations. And 
it appears that he has gotten three peaches from the tree. That gets them enough rations for an extra day, and then one-sixth of the amount they need for the future day. Okay, so that was definitely very good for Peck. So next up we have Sparrow. He needs to figure out where to go, and there aren't really very many options that have not been explored due to where they have position themselves. However, he is going to check out this tree over here. Oh, that's good news. They found some medicine. So they are definitely much more handled, much more able to handle centipedes thanks to their slingshot and their medicine. Now, Midge is faced with an interesting predicament here. Should Midge head on over to fight the centipede or should Midge perhaps go to the flowers? I do so believe Midge is going over towards the tree and then going over towards the flowers across the mountains. Will that pay off, though? Oh, it's a beehive. This could be bad. All right, now, the question is to shoo them away or to leave quietly. Now, it is possible to return with a bug net to hopefully get a lot of food, but Midge is going to be brave and going to shoo the bees away. Again, she does have some medicine, just in case things turn south. And, oh, just barely missing it. But at least she does not have to worry about the bees. And they are doing rather good on um, on food, so that's a good thing. They're definitely set up for um, some good opportunities to turn things around here. All right, so next up, another day has passed. They have plenty of food. So it looks like Team Peck, Pex Pack, that's what we gotta call it, Pex Pack. It appears that Pex Pack is doing quite well. Okay, so five days remain, and we still need four piece or three pieces of the boat. All right, so Peck is going to head on over somewhere. That is the question. So where can Peck even go? So there's a lot of stuff over to the southeast. However, Peck is going to head on over to the south in order to get one of the things over there. Actually, a better option for Peck would be to head on over to this bush. More peaches! That's great for Peck! Okay, how many peaches will Peck pick from this peach tree? Wonderful. Peck has picked three peaches for Peck's pack. That should uh, definitely help. Okay, and that was not even all of Peck's actions here. So Peck is going to be moving even further on over towards this tree over here. Uh-oh. It appears that it's a centipede, but you know what? Peck is armed with a slingshot, so he should stand a very good chance at dealing with his centipede. Will he be able to do it? Let your aim be true, Peck! Oh no! It appears that Peck has indeed managed to take out the centipede and scare that thing away. Not even afraid of that. <laughs> there are so many Peck jokes in the chat right now. It is rather uh, impress impressive, rather. Okay, so, next up is Sparrow. He is going to be checking out the bushes over here. Will he find anything that will help out his team? Oh no! It appears that he has fallen into a hole. Will he be able to get out of this hole, or will that be it for his turn? Yes, he has gotten out of the hole. That is very, very fortunate for him. For Sparrow, rather. All right, next up, where will he go? Here's he's going to be checking out the bush, and he has found a stick. This is good news. Might be able to make something with this. Okay, and lastly we have Midge's turn. Now there's a lot of stuff still to the southeast, so that might be a good place for Midge to look. Midge is going to the lookout over there, just to clear up a little bit of stuff. Um, and let's see, where is Midge going? Midge is going to check out this rocky formation there. Oh, this is very good news. Midge has found the sail. Now only two pieces remain. And they do have two days of food left. Now, regrettably, Midge has not picked a very good location for the tent. However, there are a lot of very good locations to search. However, will they be able to find 
the two logs they need in time. They do have five days left, so that is a lot. So, it appears that it will be over here that they place things. Over by Peck, they're going to set up camp for the night. Alright, so they don't have enough to make anything else. Should be fine. Okay, now it is time for bed. So they are starting to get a little bit low on food. They should still be fine, but it is a little bit worrisome for them. Alright, but they only need two more pieces to build their boat. Will they be able to find the pieces that they need? Alright, so Peck has found some bees. This could pay off, or it could backfire. They do have some medicine, which is good. So, it appears that Peck is indeed going to be fighting the bees. Try to shoo them away and get some honey. Well, again, it was not able to snag some honey, but at least it was not a total failure. They are still doing fairly well on food, although they are going to need to find some before long. At least two pieces will be enough. Oh, and look at that! It appears that Peck has indeed found some bananas. So that should hopefully solve their food problem, at least for a little bit. Oh yes, indeed, it is three pieces of food. That's very fortunate. Okay, so far Peck, Peck's pack is doing quite well. Alright, next up we have Sparrow. So, Sparrow is going to check to the north. Oh, and look at that! Sparrow has found some string! That could be very useful with that stick in order to get some fish, hopefully. Now, it doesn't look like there's anywhere that useful to go just yet. However, it appears that Sparrow is going to kind of position himself over by the fish. Doesn't have the rod for it, but maybe just maybe that'll be something that will help in the future. Okay, so it's up to Midge right now. Midge is going to search the plains over here. Will she find anything? Oh no, she's found herself in a pit. That's not good. Will she be able to get out of this pit? Oh no, it appears that she is not able to get out of the pit. She is trapped. Very bad news for poor Midge. So, most of the items do remain in the southern part here, so it appears that they are going to at least set up the camp over by Midge at the moment. Now, they do have enough tools, or enough resources to make a fishing rod. I do so believe. Yes, they can. So they will be crafting that fishing rod. That should at least give them a better opportunity to stay well fed, because they can fish up some food and that should keep them going all right it's time for them to sleep just a few days remain they do still have a bit of food in their inventory a bit of rations to go less of a concern but still one that they have to be mindful for they have three days left to find two logs and they are placed in a rather fortunate location for that so peck is going to be searching the tree Oh, and Peck has found some cloth. That's very good news. Will Peck be able to find something else to help out? Some pears. Again, that's some fantastic news because that should help keep their whole food supply issue under control. And yes, four pears for Peck. That was wonderful. So now they only need one more piece of food to have an extra day of rations. And that should work quite well for them. Okay, next up, it is indeed Sparrow's turn. Where will Sparrow be able to go? Will he be able to make it to any of the other locations? It appears that he might be able to. He's looking at the, uh, the northwestern corner of the map there. There are also two locations further on. He's gonna, he's gonna take a chance. He's gonna go for it. Try to find the logs that he needs. All right, well, he hasn't found a log, but he has found a centipede. All right, but thankfully, he is well-equipped to handle a centipede thanks to his slingshot. Will it be enough? He fires, and he hits. 
It's the centipede square in the face. Scaring that thing off. Not any match for Sparrow there. Okay, now will Sparrow be able to find something there? Oh, he found another log. They only need one more log in order to make it off the island. That is a huge, huge find for Sparrow. Now it's up to Midge. Will Midge be able to find the final log that they need? She's going for it. They are good on food at the moment too. And it appears that she has not found the log, but she has found some bananas, which is very good. That means they will have enough food to make it. Let's see, how many bananas is she going to get? She's going to get a full three bananas. That is very lucky for her. Okay, her team is indeed quite well fed at the moment. Uh, no, you know what? That would not be a good spot to set up the tent. Good spot would be somewhere where they can get access to a bunch more things. In fact, this lookout spot looks like a great place for them. All right, will they be able to make anything? It does not appear they have the resources in order to make any other tools. However, that's not going to stop them. All right, so... Just two days remain, and they only need to find one log. Will they be able to do that in time? Peck, the leader, he is going to search off to the southeast. Will he find the log? It appears not. No, he's found himself in a pitfall. That's not good. Will he be able to get out of this pitfall? Oh, no! It appears that he has indeed gotten out of the pitfall. <laughs> oh, whoever would have guessed that. Okay, however, he finds himself in a rather precarious situation because there's not anything else to really explore. So, he's just gonna set up over there. Now, this is all about luck at the moment. It appears that Sparrow is heading over. Oh, Sparrow's found some medicine. This could be definitely helpful if they have some bad luck against the centipede. However, it's unlikely that they are going to run into an issue. Oh, he's found it! He's found the last log! That is some great news for Team Hex Pack. They have everything they need in order to build the raft and get off of the island. So we have our first successful team, Hex Pack. What a great raft, oh man. Now what will their score be? This is what we need to see. You escaped. Hex Pack made it. Good job, Pex Pack! Alright, so, with a final score of... Let's see what it ends up to be. Only one day to spare. Their score was 27,620. Not too bad, but not enough to really get anything. However, they did survive, and that's all that really matters at the moment. Okay, anyway, that concludes that for right now. Let's go ahead and end the game, because I need to go over and see Sylvia, like, right now. <laughs> oh, that worked out perfectly timing-wise. Or was she coming here? I think I was going to her place, right? Shoot, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I wanted to go to her place. But she wanted to show me stuff. Oh man, it's raining now? What? Or it's just like a really overcast day. Salvia! Okay, I'm here. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Hi. Well, hello! I've been waiting. Tch. Oh, have you now? I spent so much time sprucing up this house, it feels like cleaning has become my new hobby. Alright, look in every corner, you say. Since I started keeping my whale shark, I feel healthier somehow. I think it's because I'm li living closer to nature. Alright, let's see. What have you got in here, huh? Sometimes it's best to forget what has just been seen. Oh my. Supercharged Miracle Soap. That's the stuff they sell on TV late at night, right? Does that stuff actually work? I'm really curious. 
Don't they have like some kind of kangaroo shampoo thing? All right, so what can I buy from you? I guess is the question. What is this? Ew. Uh, will you sell me this whale shark? It's named Apple Juice? You named your whale shark Apple Juice. That's adorable. <laughs> um, what is this? A milk can. Oh, no, you need that for the baby. Apple juice. That's hilarious. Okay, I guess I don't really want to buy anything. All right, see ya, Sylvia, Marigold, and Apple Juice. Yeah, your place is all right. <laughs> Apple juice. <laughs> That's hilarious, actually. Okay. Oh, man. I like that name. <laughs> we gotta remember that. That's just so priceless. Olaf. Do you have fleas again? Are you serious? How do you have so many fleas? That's just embarrassing. It's like an epidemic or something. All right, let's see. What else do you have to say? Oh boy, rumors are scary, don't you think? Apparently Goldie and I are. Well, if I understand it right, people think we're cousins somehow, you loser. Cousins? Huh? Are we? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I've got to protect Goldie's privacy, so I can't tell you anything else about this. Oh, you gotta be kidding. You're not cousins with Goldie. That's just a weird rumor. Uh, Soleil, how are you doing? Oh, you just planted some flowers. That's very considerate of you. Uh, Sorter, I've been thinking how lovely it would be to visit your home. Have time right now. Sure, let's go. I don't mind. All right. Just having everyone on over. Uh, Beautiful Days 4 asking, who's in the camp? Earl is in the house. Well, in the camp. Which is all right. Got a cream sofa from her, which quickly went into uh, Cesar's hands. Okay, time for the tour. Ooh, I gotta show her the throne. I think she'd like that. She gave me the throne. All right, anyway. Well, isn't this nice? It's got a very water feel, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I see you made yourself very comfortable in here, Warder. It's so inviting. I uh, could easily move in here. It'd be like a home away from home, Tarnation. Here, have some ramen. You know you want some. All right, you gotta check out this place. Oh yeah, there's the throne. There's the throne. Only be a few minutes. No need to serve any food parfait. Unless you want some, of course. Sure. How fascinating. There's not a single thing on any of your walls, Tarnation. All right, well, maybe I'll do something about that. I like chairs, and I really do love what you've got in here, Warder. But she camps your monthly says that anything that stands on four legs is a step backward in design. I just thought I'd let you know, Warder. You want to say that to my, my horse thing over here? She called you backwards in design. All right, let's show her the rest of the house. Maddie Goody asked me, wait, how do you get Reese's pick? I just scanned her uh, amiibo card, which I need to do. I need to scan someone's amiibo card today. All right, now we have this room, which has no music at the moment. You don't, you just got in this room. You don't want to look at this. Okay, well, we'll go somewhere else then. All right, balloon room time. See what you got over here. Oh my gosh, these balloons. I want to pop all of them. <laughs> I really do. Uh, let's see. Incredible Warder, you have so many rare things in here. Where did you find it all? Tarnation? Tarnation? Okay, let's give you the tour of the basement and then upstairs. 
Yeah, only two rooms in this house are ones that I actually really like. I like all those cacti over there. I just noticed I had them all lined up. Kind of nice. Okay, yeah, this is my gyroid dungeon, of course. Uh, let's see. You have nothing in here. What are you spending your bells on, Warder? I bet you're buying lots of gifts, aren't you? Great, as long as they're not from Mira, okay? What have you got against Mira? <laughs> All right, well, whatever. I ain't judging. You got beef? You got beef? I like Soleil, though. Very nice. All right, what have we got up here? Final room to show her, really. Oh, man, I gotta move this thing. That's right. It's really bothering me. <laughs> she is just obsessed with storage solutions. <laughs> I once had a gyre combo that looked like it was dancing to Power Pop in my house. Oh, wow, that's something. Yeah. Alright, are you going now? Are you done? I'll look around more. Nah, you're good. Uh, let's see. Well, I do believe I'll be heading home. Thanks for having me over, Warder. Alright, you're welcome. Bye. See ya! Alright, we're moving you, buddy. It's embarrassing. Alright, there we go. Problem solved! All right, let's see. Sambal Hot Hot Mage saying, Yo, Marilyn, how is your gold nuzzle like going? Did you make it to the Elite Four? I did make it to the Elite Four. I do have that episode up on YouTube. I don't want to spoil it for you, just if you haven't seen it. But it is on YouTube, and I will be, uh, well, I guess it kind of spoils it. Uh, it's, uh, continuing on Wednesday. Uh, this Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central Time. Currently, right now, it is 4.38. Oh my gosh. Oh, Goldie's here! Oh, hello, Warder. Would you mind a visitor? Oh, that really freaked me out for a moment. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? I was just about to put my fish on a board. Holy fish on a board. And then Goldie shows up. I'm just here to see if you'd like to play. Oh, all right, sure. Let's chat. I was just running an errand nearby. I thought I'd drop in to say hello. Oh, I love it when they just show up. Oh, I have something to give you. I can't believe I almost forgot. It's a robo table, so it's not anything special. Still, I'd like for you to have it. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Goldie. Your room's just filled with your personality order. It's great. Here, why don't you check this out? Ah, oh, I love it. Yeah, it's always adorable when they just like show up unannounced. But it does mean that they have high happiness towards you. Oh, where did she go? I guess she only wanted to go in the front door. Whoops. This was visiting. Not She didn't want to hold to her. Yeah, they don't usually stick around for very long. But you should... Wait, what? I should have brought you a present for inviting me over. Sorry for being scatterbrained. You're very scatterbrained because there are two things wrong with what you just said there. First of all, you did bring me a present. Second of all, I didn't invite you over. So, all right, that's fine. I'll forgive you. You need some pancakes. That's what you need. You need you need some pancakes or not. I've had a lovely time. I should probably be going now. Thanks for spending time with me. Aw. All right, anyway, robo bed. I'm going to put this robo bed and the fish on a board. Downstairs. Alright. I swear it sounds like... Or it's not a robo-bed, it's a robo-table. Ooh, this actually looks really appropriate with these gyroids. <laughs> uh, and then the fish on a board. Wait, what? Oh, I can't hang it on the wall! What good is a fish if I can't hang it on a wall? Oh, that's bad. All right, well, let's set it on this table here. <laughs> so silly. Okay. Not what I expected, but that's fine. All right, so. Hmm. I think that's probably about it. Don't really know what else need to do today. I know we have still more uh, more of the game to play, but I think that'd be a fun thing to do tomorrow night. We'll wrap that up. Still have three more. I'm gonna go say hi to Goldie. Let's see. 
Oh, they! Thanks for the robo table! I've been having this intense craving for fruit lately. It's like my body is just desperate for it. Sorry, Word, but could you do me a favor and get me a piece of fruit? Any kind is fine with me. Oh, no problem! I'll go get you some fruit. Alright, let's go. She's so adorable. I like Goldie a lot. I like Goldie. I like Bones. I haven't seen Bones yet today. I gotta go find Bones. He's my buddy. Bones, where are you at? Where are you at, Bones? Oh, he's just not around. He's probably, like, out exploring or something. Uh, I probably should have gotten that lantern fly and thinking about it. Like, one of those things that villagers sometimes ask for, and then it's a pain trying to locate them. Uh, let's see. There's Mira. Yeah, I don't really know where... Where he is at. He might be in Main Street. I don't really feel like searching for Main Street. Or searching on Main Street, rather. So, I think I'm just gonna get some fruit for Goldie and call it a day. Let's get her a perfect cherry. Sounds delicious right about now. All right. Goldie, I got you some fruit. I got you some fruit. All right, here you go. Uh, please take this. Delicious, perfect cherry. She starts with the stem. That's so weird. <laughs> that was so good. I never thought I'd have the chance to eat such a perfect cherry. These are tears of joy. Aww. <laughs> That's a picture. I'm so satisfied. Here, I'll give you my pine bone size as a way of saying thank you. Oh, nice. You're just wonderful, Warder. Aww. All right, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, pine bonsai, though. That's kind of nice, really. Oh no, Kobe Dorant saying, thank goodness you're streaming today. Yesterday I was hit by a car while biking. I have to stay in bed for the next week due to bruising. Thank you very much for streaming today. Oh dang, that is brutal. I hope you get better soon. That is crazy. I'm so glad you're all right. Oh man, I tell you, some people can be such jerks while riding their cars. Not paying attention to you know, pedestrians or cyclists or whatever. It's like, oh, man. Take it easy for sure. But yeah, I do stream every day. Um, so definitely check out the schedule too because that'll keep you entertained. And if you aren't familiar, I also do have plenty of videos over on my YouTube channel. So that's going to be a nice fun thing to binge watch if you're kind of bed bound for a bit. Uh, but yeah, just take it easy for sure. That's what's most important right now. Alright, I guess we'll just set this down here. Oh, that looks kind of nice, but actually I think this will look nicer downstairs. Um, There'd be a lot better synergy here, because that's a very, like, wood kind of room. And this it doesn't quite look the way I wanted it. Uh, let's see... Oh, I could set it up right here, actually. That'd probably look nice. Well, given that that's pretty much my only option at the moment. Wait, can I put it on the fireplace? Oh, I can! That's lovely. Lovely, I tell ya. Alright, anyway. I think we're gonna leave it off here, though, for today. Sorry about that. Uh, I've been streaming about an hour and 45 minutes, though. And I have this thing I kind of want to open up. So, yeah, we're going we're, we're gonna to end things off here, though. But I'm super excited for the Switch. We'll see how that goes. And uh, we'll continue even more of the, uh, the island thing 
Let's see who makes it. Jay has been eliminated. However, we still have Peck and Peck's Pack in the mix. So that's really exciting. Um, the next up we'll have Rory, Cody, and who was the other one? Uh, Rory, Cody, and Genji. That's right. Rory, Cody, and Genji. So that'll be fun. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow night. We'll have to see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Animal Crossing New Leaf Adventures in Cheville. See you next time, everyone. Woo!